Hey Libra, we're going to do your weekend reading for May 8th through the 10th for Libra, Sun, Moon, and Rising. And this is a general reading for your weekend. And what? You are on a rock floating in infinite nothingness. How can you take life less seriously? How can you lighten your heart? And then I'm going to do a three card spread for your weekend, Libra. May 8th through the 10th. Okay, for your past we had we had harmony. Um, so you were feeling really at flow and a lot of harmonious energies, feeling um, like you can take on quite a bit other, you know, no one can throw you off. You're just really chill with everything that's happening. And um, it's just a really stable, fulfilled feeling. You just feel complete and whole. And for your current situation, we have traveling. So you're kind of like being propelled towards a new beginning, embarking on a new endeavor, um, leaving one thing behind and traveling towards another. And for your future, we have transformation. And this is kind of like the death card for the death card for um, the Rider Waite deck and you know this transformation brings wisdom and balance and new life and clarity really really clear clarity and you just break your own chains you're breaking the chains that as the you know like um as you gain perspective and clarity you break the chains of your mind and free yourself and i'm gonna do a five card spread with my Shadowscape stuff real quick for you for Libra. Libra May 8th through the 10th. Sorry, I brain farted halfway through. For your current situation with, you know, traveling from one thing to another, you're able to balance yourself and gain grounding and um, um, stability, like um, gain stability. So for your recent past, we had eight or Knight of Pentacles in reverse. So this could mean... Um, being stubborn or neglectful or this could also mean like having spending you know um unrealistic spending habits so um this could also mean being like cynical so we'll clarify all of this this could mean someone around you it doesn't necessarily mean you and then for your abilities this weekend we have two of wands in reverse so some kind of some some plans got put on hold or they got you know something got put to the side for a little bit but it's you know it can get frustrating especially when you had that you know the inertia pushing you that way for some time or you know whatever but it's just bad timing and perhaps you know you you realize it's not good to follow through with whatever that is at this time just at this time and then for your love, passions, and inter interests, we have a really good, like, collaborative energy here. It's the Three of Pentacles. Things are being done, quality work, solid quality work, and really harmonious with others, um, considering that you just spent some time feeling at harmony within and without. It's really, you know, it seems like it's pouring out into your weekend. And then for your... Um, outcome we have the queen of wands in reverse so this is you know for the outcome it's probably someone that's a little bit controlling or you might have conflict with someone that is controlling um but that you know either you're really going through a transformation right now so either they're you know 
either that's, you know, it could be you, but it's kind of feels like someone's going to try to control you and this transformation really can't be controlled like that. But we'll clarify, we'll clarify. Can I clarify the Knight of Pentacles for the recent past for Libra? Yeah, I got the Two of Wands again in reverse. So I don't read these typically in reverse, but it popped out in reverse. So everything means something. Some Something got put on hold and it's just bad timing. And perhaps you're being a little bit, you were, this is in the, your recent past. You were or someone was being a little bit stubborn about it. And it made you feel like exhausted and defeated and just unable to go on. But the worst that has happened, the worst that can happen has happened for that, that particular situation. And, you know, after that, after that hardship will come blessings as long as you like handle things correctly and keep your enthusiasm and um, your enthusiasm and your um, inspiration high. Just try, you know, don't, just maintain your clarity and your ground. Like make sure you balance your home and work and emotions and everything. Like if you're feeling sad, take care of yourself, nurture yourself. Um, you don't have to work constantly. Two of Pentacles for the current situation, please. Hanged man. So yeah, with this, you're just like, you're really going, you're going with the flow and you're listening to your guides that tell you when you're about to drop something. And with that, you know, you're very trusting of what the divine plan has in store for you or you should be because this is really, it's, it's everybody's, you know, it's that time of year where everybody should be nice and shining feeling good <clears throat> despite what's happening and everybody it's that time of year because everybody goes through those cycles and if you hang on to an old cycle then the new cycle can't come in so don't be stubborn about whatever got put on hold whatever um, because you have many many blessings to come and when you cling to that old plan or that old person or whatever then you're just constantly stuck in this tower moment where you're constantly like being thrown through a loop after loop after loop after loop. So it's like, <clears throat> take yourself out of the loop and trust it, trust the, trust the plan and go through the cycles that you need to go to and travel from one thing to another, travel from one thing that's no longer serving you to one another thing that will and, and do some inner alchem alchemy and um, trust yourself. There's a big change happening here. But like with, with this big change comes lots of passion and love and um, strong, st stable emotions. Can I, can I clarify two of wands in reverse for the abilities this week? The Hermit. Yeah, so whatever is being put on hold, don't be stubborn about it. It's, you know, whatever bad timing, it's because you need to take time to shine light on whatever was coming and see if really, if it was a good fit for you. Because whatever was being offered, you know, I feel like it might have been... Uh, I don't know whether to say this or not, but so whatever was being offered might have been not genuine. It was new, it was fresh, it was sexy, it was charming, it was enticing. This could mean like a project too, it's not just a person, but it was um, probably maybe blocking your fortune. But um, something new is coming in, something very new, very new and flowing with love and balanced and super good with collaborations, you know, working together and making quality, quality work. Okay, just to clarify, love, passions, interest. So 
So you're gonna be served justice with your love, passions, and interests, as long as you get keep your head out of the clouds and you know keep yourself from fantasizing it's good to dream it's good to aspire and be inspired but not to get caught up in dreams because then you forget yourself and what you really want yeah have patience i know you might feel feel impatient for what got put on hold or whatever has bad timing but have patience and use this time to clear your water gain clarity balance gain your balance and um just feel way more at peace getting back to that harmony spot because whatever transformation you're going through it's, it's intense and it's strong and it's powerful and it's going to make you powerful taking time to heal that is is good heal it and ref, you know reflect on it and shine some light on it and learn about it learn learn from the lessons that you that you've been shown can I clarify the Queen of Wands in reverse for Virgo? Yeah, don't. So you, yeah. For the Queen of Wands in reverse, it's someone controlling. Like, don't try to control this. Don't, don't, don't try to control this. Don't cling to your coins. Don't cling to what you have. Because that will bring, like, blocks to your blessings. That'll, that'll stop the wheel from turning for you. And you need to make the decision. You know, all these people are waiting for you to decide because um, your radiance is needed in the world. Your decision needs to be made. You need to make, you know, you need to have that wake up call. And, you know, redream your dreams and rediscover your why and heal those waters are so clear she can't do that with muddy water and you can't do that with a mud muddy mind from whatever you are feeling defeated from and whatever you feel like you're just really you missed out on you didn't miss out on the blessings are coming it's so close it's so close but there was something i feel like uh that needed to come to an end because it just <laughs> the offer didn't seem genuine as tasty and enticing as it was, it was just another cycle. Yeah, there's an there's there's going to be an offering where there's reciprocation and an equal give and take and a lot of love and passion. This can be a new project, a new job, whatever, but it's coming. It's coming in the, it's in the outcome position and you know, you're going to remember that you have inflicted uh some suffering on yourself. I people have hurt you. I, I know that, but you've inflicted suffering on yourself. You made yourself feel like you're out in the cold, but they're right outside of a church. So go inside and get warm and you're going to realize that and you're going to be like, "Oh, that's the judgment call." That's the decision I need to make. And I need to open my eyes to the blessings in front of me and the offerings that are being offered to me. One more. Yeah. <laughs> Nine of Pentacles. You're stable within yourself. You're strong. You're abundant. You have um, an, a, a great capability and all of that. You can do anything you need. You don't need anybody else. And that's why you benefit everyone else. As long as you have the clear mind and the clear heart. I'm going to pull one guide card for you with the medicine cards. For Libra. May 8th through the 10th. Frog in reverse. So you might be resisting some cleansing that needs to happen. You might be resisting even crying a little bit, but you do have to take some time to cleanse because um, I have the star card, I have temperance, I have pretty much all the cleansing cards. I have transformation, the tower, something needs to be let go because then you can free yourself up for the new fortune, the world is yours. Um, you know don't don't cling too much don't don't cling to this because all of this is being held back 
and your, your hands are too full to grab at this new flowing love that's gonna, you know, it's gonna absolutely reciprocate and be everything you ever wanted. Just don't get too caught up in the clouds. It's cheating you out of this harmonious situation, whether it be work or, you know, love, you know, family. So I hope this helped you guys and have a wonderful weekend. And thanks again, Libra.